am here to tell you that what you have believed about your own potential has changed what you have learned and continues to do that, continues to change your learning and your experiences. So how many people here, let's get a show of hands, have ever been given the idea that they're not a math person or that they can't go on to the next level of math, they haven't got the brains for it? Let's see a show of hands. So quite a few of us. So we actually need a revolution in maths classrooms. We need to change a lot of things. And part of the reason we need to change so much is because research on maths teaching and learning is not getting into schools and classrooms. And I'm going to give you a stunning example now. So this um, is really interesting. When we calculate, even when adults calculate, where a brain area that sees fingers is lighting up. We're not using fingers, but that brain area that sees fingers lights up. So there's a brain area when we use fingers, and there's a brain area when we see fingers. And it turns out that seeing fingers is really important for the brain. And in fact, finger perception is... Um, scientists test for finger perception by asking people to put their hands under a table, they can't see them, touching a finger, and then seeing if you know which finger has been touched. The amount that university students have good finger perception predicts their calculation scores. And the amount of finger perception grade one students have is a better prediction of maths achievement in grade two than test scores. It is that important. But what happens in schools and classrooms, students are told they're not allowed to use their fingers. They're told it's babyish. They're made to feel bad about it. When we stop children learning number through fingers, it's akin to halting their numerical development.